Hey what's up travelers? In this video we're going to the Hard Rock Cafe Sharm El Sheikh here in Egypt. Hey, what's up, travelers? I want to let you guys know that I published a coloring book. Uh, it's based off of photographs that I took while I was in Egypt during this series. I put a whole lot of work into it. Check out these photos, uh, some of the pages there. Again, I put a lot of work into it. There is a link down in the description to where you can go pick one up. I hope you do. It was a lot of fun making it. Wasn't so much fun publishing it. <laughs> it's a really kind of a pain, but I went through it and I got it published. And hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, check it out. Try your disappearing act. No, I won't stand for that. One chance is all you get before you get the axe. Try your disappearing trick. It's common to see John Lennon wearing this pea coat in early Beatles footage. Elvis wore this shirt in the movie Change of Habit. Here we have a guitar that was owned by the late great Carl Perkins and a handwritten letter from the man too. These shoes were worn and signed by Pat Boone. John Bon Jovi wore this during the Slippery When Wet tour. Shakira wore this vest during her final world tour. 
This beautiful Gibson Flying V was owned and signed by the Scorpions' Rudolf Shanker. Michael Hutchins of NXS wore these Gucci shades on stage at the Wheeler Opera House in Colorado in early 1997. This white cotton jacket was worn and signed by Madonna. Brian Adams wore this beige linen sport coat while performing a show in the UK in 1993. Scott Ian of Anthrax used this gorgeous Jackson guitar on the Volume 8 and We Come For You All tours. This jacket belonged to the legendary Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. The Boss wore this leather jacket on stage in Berlin in 1993. Hey, what's up, travelers? This is Gary Holt from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and I'm here to tell you to smash that subscribe button for Tasting Travel. Slayer, do it now. Tasting Travel. Check it out. Later. Subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye. This leather vest was worn by legendary shock rocker, Alice Cooper. This letter, signed by the three Gibb brothers, formerly terminated a contract between the Bee Gees and Cragen and Company. This interesting shirt was owned by Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Rod Stewart. And of course my obligatory strawberry basil lemonade. Unfortunately they were out of strawberries so I didn't get that. But there's the lemonade with the basil. Uh, hey, if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you in the next video, which will also be at another Hard Rock Cafe.